Good afternoon, Michelle Humes, your pucker up gal. What's in the jar? Replay watchers comment with the lip emoji, so I know that you are watching this on the replay. And those that are watching me now live, please just show some love, some hearts. Let me know that you're here, that you can see me and hear me okay. This was not planned. I kind of just, um, I, I was looking at my jar and I wanted to sh lip hair and a lips, y'all. Say hello. How are you? How's your Labor Day going? I know y'all got things to do. I know you guys are having little picnics or get-togethers with your family. <laughs> We're not having anything today. My husband is outside working in his shop, finishing the upstairs um, portion. And um, hi, ladies. Welcome. Thank you for hopping on. I appreciate you so much. How is everybody doing today? How are y'all doing? I have a jar that I want to share with you all. And what time is better than now, right? We got things we got to do. So let's just do it, right? Let's let make people wait. Mm. So I have this jar. I actually started it at the very beginning of the year. Um, it was one of my New Year's resolutions. And I headed home from the lake. Oh, you had a nice day at the lake, I hope. How's everybody's weather holding up with this new Hurricane Irma on the way? Oh my goodness. Could the hurricanes just stop already? Okay, let's get off the hurricanes topic right now. But pray, still pray for everybody because it's it's getting pretty bad. Y'all like in my little my my little glitter glitter glitter. <laughs> okay, so I have this ooh. I have this jar, and this is a great um, way to reflect back on some things um, that have happened throughout the year. Get yourself a mason jar, and every day put something in it that you are grateful for, because everybody, um, some people like to sit and dwell about things that are they can't control, and then they get really sad, and this is a great way to pick yourself back up if you're having a bad day. You open up your jar to remember some of the things that have happened during the year, or that you just woke up and just, I'm grateful for this, and you write it down on a piece of paper, there's lots of papers in here, and you just share with yourself what you are grateful for. So I'm going to actually, I was going to wait till the end of the year, but just for those people that may need a little pick-me-up, I'm going to share with you some of the things that I have been grateful for so far in 2017. I'm just going to randomly pick some out and read them to you. Um, they may not, they might not even apply to you personally, but it will show you some of the things that you most definitely can be grateful for. Um, every day, be grateful for being able to wake up and open your eyes. You're still breathing. You're still here. Every day, be grateful for your family, for a roof over your head, for being able to eat, survive, just the small little things that people, some people do take for granted and they forget. They forget. And one of my good friends reminded me of this a few days ago, that the little things also matter too. You don't need an extravagant car, a huge house. Um, you don't need large materialistic things to have gratitude and to be grateful. So please share this video so that your friends can also see this and get this awesome idea to start this in their life. Um, I'm talking loud because I have my blower on and it goes on and off. Central air. Yeah. So who's excited? Who wants to hear? I'm going to share. I'm going to share a few. Let me put my, my, my daily gratitude. It says daily gratitude. I use little stickers. All right. So I'm just going to pull some out. Maybe I'll pull out like 10 and see what comes out of the jar. Let's see what comes out of the jar. Okay. And I didn't put dates on them. I just... You can see it. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see? Yeah. I just wrote 
whatever I felt at the moment. Today, I am grateful for Chelsea, my friend, mentor, and sponsor. She is always looking out for everyone's best interests and leads us with guidance and understanding. That's just something I felt at the time, and I put it down on paper. I feel like that every day towards her. Today, I am grateful to my husband. He goes above and beyond for the kids. Today, he helped our daughter fix and clean up the house she moved out of. Um, finally, they appreciate him. <coughs> Just randomness, y'all. Tell you, it's little things. It's the little things. You have plenty to be grateful for. Today, I am grateful for our spare bedroom. Some nights I can't sleep because my husband snores like a freight train. <laughs> oh my god, that's a funny one. <laughs> that I'm really grateful for the spare bedroom <laughs> on those nights. Not every night, sometimes he does. Today I am grateful I have 15 new team members in one week. That's just something, just something. Today, my team reached 16,000 in sales. It's crazy what one year can do. Just these are little moments in my life. Let me see if I can find something that has nothing to do about business. I have no idea. I'm just unraveling them, reading them, some of them. I'm not going to read all of them, just some. My hair is like really a mess today. Today, one year with Limelight, and my team reached 50 beauty guides and almost 19 in sales for the month. I remember that. I remember that. Where's Annabelle's paper? Oh, you're going to get one. Don't you worry. <laughs> They're in here. There's a lot. There's a lot. I might do this for my team, actually. I might send out some gratitude jars. Everybody needs to remember that um, being grateful is, is the first thing you should do in the morning when you get up. Let's see. Today, the storm and tornadoes didn't, didn't hit my house. I remember that. And I wrote down May. May. Today, the storm and tornadoes didn't hit my house. That's something I was grateful for. Yes, please share. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right? Today, I am grateful for Pop Rocks. We all know why you're grateful for them, Annabelle. Uh, today, my friend accepted my apology. Hey, I'm not perfect. And if I feel like I've done something wrong to somebody, um, for whatever reason, it might, I might not understand it, but I will apologize. Um, today I am grateful for the coaching I received from Coach Brian Fryer. I learned an amazing tip today that is going to save me so much time. And it was categorized, categorizing my Facebook friends. I actually shared that with my team. I did a live video. I did a video in our team group after learning that. All right, a few more. I'm not going to keep you ladies. I got a lot in here. You, you'd think, you'd think that, I mean, there is a lot in here. Um, today, I am grateful because I promoted to lead director. I don't even want to get into it all. It's just too emotional to even think about. This is a long one. <laughs> Today, I am grateful for my health, having the air I breathe and not having to need oxygen, as in, you know, an oxygen machine or any of that. That was the beginning of the year. That was January. I wrote January down. I remember that. Okay, two more. Two more. I'm not going to read them all. Today, I am grateful to have my grandmother. She is 92 years old, and I am blessed to still have her around. Very blessed to still have my grandmother. She's a great, great grandmother. She, there's five generations in our family. 92. Imagine how blessed that is to be still around to see all of that. 
today I am grateful because our team sales 38,000 and I hit an executive rank. Oh, I remember that. That was at like, I think at one o'clock in the morning I wrote this. As soon as it happened, I wrote it and put it in my jar. I remember doing that. I remember. I can remember sitting down and writing these things out. Okay, one more. That's it. One more. Today, I am grateful for a roof over our heads. The storm last night was scary crazy. Just little things. It could be little things. It doesn't have to be big things. It doesn't have to be business things. It, doesn't have, it could be anything. Anything that you are grateful for. Write it on a piece. Get a piece of... Get a note. Get a notebook. And just break the pieces off and write little snippets of things that you're grateful for. It takes not even 30 seconds to do it every day. And you wrote, write it out, fold it up, and throw it in your jar. Throw it. I'm putting them all back because this is my gratitude jar. Every day I write something and put it in it. You've got to do this. You, you'll remember. You'll we go through it at the end of the year. And remember what you've been grateful for for the whole year. There are things to be grateful for. There are things to be happy about. There are things, not even things, people, people that you're grateful for, family that you're grateful for, um, just everyday life, waking up to another day just to be here. So, <laughs> Rhonda, are you trying out for a part on Star Trek? Your grandma needs to hurry and move. <laughs> I don't know if she's going to move. She's not even, No, I'm not trying out for Star Trek. I just wanted to do a um, mask. Halloween-like mask. You can draw on yourself. I actually only used, you know, besides foundation stuff, I only used three, excuse me, three things. An eyeliner pen, a lip color, and um, a little thing of glitter. That's it. That's all I used to do this. Three things. Two of them are what I what I have, and yes, henna. Is that how you pronounce it, henna? But that's it. Please share this video. Thank you for watching. Um, share this on your wall so other people can get this idea and start it in their lives. It makes a huge difference when you wake up in the morning, and the first thing you do is find something to be grateful for. And if during the day. It doesn't have to be one a day. If all of a sudden something happens to you that makes you have those profound, heartfelt, grateful feelings, goosebumps, whatever it is, write it down so you can remember the moment. If you don't use a journal and you don't write, you know, if you don't use a diary or a journal for yourself, keeping track of your life and the things that happen to you, this is a great way, a quick way, to write out those moments in your life that make, that mean something to you. It can be anything. There is no right or wrong answer. It's what you're feeling at the time. Put it in a jar. Put it in a jar and then read it at the end of the year. Sit down with your family. Let them hear everything that you are grateful for for the year. And then start over again. Fill those jars up. And you could even start a few jars. You want to start start a jar that um, you can save to give to your children when they're older. And you can label them their name and just save them. And leave something for them to read. Um, that's a good idea. I might start that too. Because my daughters, I have five daughters. I have eight grandchildren. And every day I am so grateful and blessed and extremely proud of them for everything that they do. They are just amazing and I think I might start a um, read this, read what's in the jar when I'm gone thing. Um, hopefully it won't be for like 50 years from now but yeah, I think that's a good idea too. Yeah, court. yes Rhonda, I have five daughters. So please share this video. I appreciate you all for watching. Thank you, Replay Watchers. Have a safe, happy holiday, Labor Day. Um, it's almost over. And take care of yourselves. Be safe. I love you all. Stay pucker up beautiful. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.